Hello, welcome back to my farmhouse sewing room. For those of you that haven't been here, welcome. Um, my name is Marne and I have a lot of things to tell you about and show you today. This is probably one of my most exciting videos because um, I have so much to share. Um, in my last video, I was telling a lot of you about my uh, tea party that I was going to for my niece and um, things that I was working on. I was very busy and I got these new books and I was in the middle of trying to get rid of my quilting machine that I had behind me. As you can see, the space is empty and it sold. Um, an awesome couple from State College, Pennsylvania come and uh, bought it. So I wish them well. Um, but I have exciting news. Oh my gosh. I am going to be the proud owner. I should say me and Jim, because we are a team and we are partners. Um, we are going to open up we are going to be opening up our own quilting business. So yes, I am the new owner of a Gamel uh, Elevate machine. Um, I'm hoping it will be here by June. Uh, there's a lot to do, but we went through all the process of getting um, the application uh, for the loan approved and getting a date and, and all the paperwork is signed, but um, we are on our way. I am so excited. I just want to do a happy dance. <laughs> I can't even tell you. It is the most exciting thing for me ever because this is one of my greatest passions besides being on this little format that we have. This is what I want to do. And so I was telling you in my last video, and if anybody haven't heard of this, I have bought these Lori Holt books and this is the farm girl vintage. I am a farmer's daughter and I'm very much a farm girl and I am over the moon with these books. Um, I got them all in the mail and last week I delved into them and the the pages in here are amazing. She Lori Holt has everything written out uh, for a six inch block or a 12 inch block that you can make. Very simple, easy to follow. It's not hard. And for me, I'm somebody that just cannot read a pattern to save my life. I'm more very visual. But these books are great. And she gives you all kinds of examples and different quilts to make in the backs of the books. So anyway, I haven't made it past the Farm Girl Vintage book. But there is some things that I have marked in the Farm Girl Vintage 2 book. So I will show you what I've made out of these books because I was just playing. And like I said, I am really obsessed. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you the blocks that I made. I did all the 12 inch blocks and really I'm just playing, you know, but it's just very fun. So the first one I made was the tea kettle. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can position my camera just a little bit better so that you can see this and hopefully not lose my position. So the first block was the tea kettle. This is very fun and I thought it would make a great um, addition for a farmer's wife quilt. So I've got my idea on making quilts because I am like going to get on this quilt making thing because I'm going to have a quilting machine and I really want to learn and play with it with my own quilts before I start quilting for anybody, you know, that wants to have their quilt done or for all of you. And just so you know, I do have a website set up and I will let you know about that later. I have a phone, um, a business phone hooked up and we got business cards ordered and I'm really just wanting to get it out there and be on my way. But, um, for now I'm going to show you these. So I got a chicken, the mama hen, I guess they would call it. Um, I did the canning jars and these are just scraps that I was playing with. Um, I didn't really put a whole lot into them. I just, you know, was using what, what I had. Um, this next one is some, some fabrics that I just recently bought. Um, the, no, these weren't the ones I bought. The tea kettles were the one I bought, but these are some I just had. Some brand new fat quarters. This is the bowls and spoon. I'm sorry. I'm just like so excited. I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> this next block, I did a modern and some retro fabrics. I did a modern, um, cow print in the middle and then I just went around it with some um, vintage fabrics and this one's called the haystack. Um, this next one, I wish I would have done it in a smaller one. It's really kind of hard and I, you know, like I said, I'm just playing, but this is the baby chick. Um, and I did a vintage um, sunflower fabric in the back. This is the chick with the wing. Up here is his beak. Um, there's a heart. 
And the legs you would have to embroider in or you could um, use a fabric marker or you could use like some heat and bond and make some little legs. It's up to you. I just penciled them on right now. I really haven't finished this one. Like I said, I'm just playing because I really wanted to see what I could do. But they're just all so simple and they were so fun and they went together in no time and I really got carried away. So this one is the milk can and you can take squares and I have a lot of squares that are cut up. So I just picked out of my squares that I had cut up and I put this together with a vintage background and then like the steel gray, dark gray kind of thing for the lid and the handles. This one was a really fun one for a farm quilt. Um, the next one I did a, um, a little Americana flag and I thought this was really cute with the star and I just took some different um, blocks that I already had and some strips that I had out of my scrap bin <laughs> and made this funky little star. I thought this was great. This is one of my favorites. This is the barn and I love it. I want to do a quilt and incorporate a barn, but in the book there is a barn and a silo and I'll show that to you when I get through. But this one, I just did some um, fussy cuts of some chicken fabric that I had. I took the yellow and it almost looks like hay. The red almost looks like barn boards. I didn't have barn board fabric, which I thought I did. I went through everything I had and couldn't find it, but this was the closest I could find. And I love the blue that I put in the back because it makes it look kind of like a, a blue sky. And then of course, it kind of has the quilty door, but um, this is what she had in the book. But really, you could put anything in here. If you had a little um, cow fabric or, you know, farm animals, that would even look cute in there. The ideas are just endless. I'm just, um, I my mind has been spinning with all this stuff because I'm really obsessed with these books. And this was the Morning Star, I think it was. This one was very easy and pretty, and I just did it with some fabrics that I had, little chicken fabric and some different colors, and it just turned out great. And the backgrounds, I like to keep them nice and light because I want the, the picture to stand out, although I didn't do that with the baby chick. I thought the yellow, I mean, the, the chicken is bright, but the yellow, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, you get the idea. So this has really got my head spinning to um, make a quilt. And now that I've got this quilt machine coming, I am like so excited and I want to make quilts to practice on, even though I have several that are already ready that, that need to be, you know, be quilted. So I will have those, but um, I'm really obsessed with the farm girl books. So I went and cleaned out a lot of my fabric and I have this panel and I don't know if any of y'all heard of the animal selfies, but um, I had um, some pieces of that. I only cut one off the smaller squares off from it, which was a pig. And I had the biggest one as the center and it has all these animals on it. I'm gonna let you see it. So I'm gonna bring you down here because I have it on the table. And if you can see, I have this animal selfies book, this panel here, and it's just really fun and colorful. And I thought this would be great if I took one of the barns of the silo and pieced it together for the um, more or less the top. And I want to do a tractor down below, but I will show you that. So this is the center that I want to do of my, my on the farm quilt. And this on the farm fabric that I have, this was just a little piece that my mom had gotten from probably one of her friends. And I've had this for a couple of years in my stash. And I thought, oh my gosh, I want to do an on the farm quilt. So I am going to incorporate this on the farm and I'm sure I'll have to have it trimmed, but um, this, these two items are gonna go in. I'm really not sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna kind of wing it as I go. Um, I'm very creative. So yesterday I went to the quilt shop and I wanted to get some barn board fabric and they showed me several, but I really fell in love with this bluish brown and gray. So this is gonna be my barn when I build my barn for this quilt. And I think it's gonna look amazing. I want it to look realistic, almost like the animals are because they're so bright and colorful. And then today I went to another quilt shop and I've got, this was just a little fat quarter that I'd gotten, but it has this stone. And if I can take this paper off, you can kind of see that um, this would make a great stone silo. And maybe you can't envision it yet, but I have a vision in my head and I think, I'm hoping that it's gonna turn out great. So this is gonna be my silo. And then for my tractor, um, I got this wonderful Farmall tractor, tractor fabric. And um, I will show you the, the tractor in the book when um, I get done showing you all this, but this is gonna be the tractor. And then I have some accent fabrics, um, some other Farmall fabrics that I have with the gray and I might frame the animals or the farm thing. I'm just really not sure where I'm going with it yet, but I just know that I want to incorporate these fabrics. So it's going to take me some time to kind of figure it out. 
And then I have some accent fabrics here that might be great to make like um, a little star or borders. I'm really not sure. I just know that I'm going to incorporate these. And I've thought about uh, corners for this um, quilt too. In the book, there is some corn and tomatoes block, which I think I might just do just the corn and like the bottom corners, you know, below the tractor because, you know, farmers do their corn and stuff. And up at the top, there is some blackbirds in the book that maybe I'll incorporate in the corners at the top of the quilt. So I don't know if you can get my vision or not, but I think it's going to be amazing. So anyway, in the background fabric yesterday, I went to the quilt shop, to the So What shop. Um, they showed me this wonderful ombre fabric, and I think this is going to be the background to my quilt. Now, this is only a yard, but I don't think I'll need much more than this because the darker color is going to go toward the bottom of the quilt, and the lighter color will be toward the top like a sky. And like I said, um, all of this will be incorporated with the barn. So if you can kind of picture it, you know, the barn has that bluish barn, bluish gray barn board colors in it, which this is going to be wonderful. So I'm really excited to get started on this. And I was really excited to share it with all of you. Um, like I said, it is just so exciting. And I have made a list that I want to make several quilts because there's so many ideas in these Lori Holt books that I got. And... I want to tell you about, let's see, I want to do, <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like I'm babbling because I'm just so excited and I can't get everything out, but um, I want to do an on the farm quilt and then I want to do a farmer's wife quilt <laughs> and the farmer's wife would be anything from baking to gardening to um, uh, mixing kitchen stuff, food, I mean, I don't know, I've got a vision in my head and like I said, I will keep you all and, you know, involved and posted on, on everything that I do. I'm just wanting to share it with you, my ideas to start, and then we'll move forward in the next video. But um, what next? Also, I wanted to do the farmer's wife. I also want to do the farmer's daughter because I am the farmer's daughter, and I want to incorporate a quilt for me, for a farmer's daughter, of the things that I love, the horses, the boots, the cooking, the sewing, all of that good stuff. <laughs> I've got these ideas. And then I want to do just a farmer quilt. And I really want to do a farmer quilt for my dad for Christmas. Because I said it in one of my Christmas videos, you know, because Christmas was so hectic and I was making a lot of things of homemade gifts. But now I'm like super excited because I'm getting this long arm, you know, and I'm going to become a long armor quilter. And everybody is going to get a quilt this year for Christmas. So, um, I really would love if you all would join in on me on making quilts, you know, and you don't have to do the farmer's quilt. Just take what you have, pick what you love and put something together. And how about if you let me quilt it for you? And, um, if you would like me to quilt it for you, I would love to know what inspired you, you know, and who's it for. And, you know, just tell me all about it, you know, because I think this would be really fun. And, if you would like me to, to um, quilt your quilts for you, I could um, video it for you and make you a great memory. So just some ideas, think about it. Um, I would love your thoughts and ideas. Um, I'm really excited to do this. It is the greatest passion I could ever have, you know? And I want to practice on my own, you know, and really get to know the machine with my own quilts. Um, it's gonna be um, a computerized machine. There is tons and tons and tons of designs to pick from so I mean I will get into more of that later when I get the machine and because I know that I'm going to have to learn it and um there's going to be some online classes that I need to take to do it and everything but right now I'm thinking we can get some quilts made you know and this would be so much fun don't you get it you know oh my god I'm like I just <laughs> I can't uh contain my excitement so anyway I went to the fabric store yesterday and of course I picked up a few fabrics, you know, some of these that I just showed you and then my friend Brenda called me this morning, or she texted me last night and um, asked me if I wanted to go on to another uh, quilt shop with her this morning and so of course I said yes because there were two places I'd never been and one of them was called Farm Fresh Quilts and it was amazing. So what I got from them was, oh where is it? Mmm. Farm Fresh Quilts. What did they do with the fabrics? Oh, right here. I forget which was Farm Fresh. I think these. Okay. So from Farm Fresh Quilts, the first thing when I walked into the to the to the, the, the shop, 
I found red barn board and I'm like, oh my God, I want to make a red barn because traditional barns usually are painted red in most farms you see. So in a later um, quilt, maybe for the farmer, you know, like my dad, I might do him a red barn. Um, I also found these like little recipes with these little canning jars. I thought these would be great for a farmer's wife quilt and incorporate them in somehow. I'm like, I'm not knowing what I'm going to do with these just yet. I just know that they're going to be in there and the ideas are, are up here. But um, I'm kind of like, I don't know, wing it. I know it when I see it or I put things together, ideas just come to me. So anyway, I got this little fabric here and I thought it kind of looked vintage and I don't know, just really super sweet because the, the print is small. And then there's another one here that has the little daisies on it that's really super sweet, has the, you know, the tiny print, which, which go great. And then of course, I thought this one might be a great background print because it has like all the, the kitchen tools, you know, for the farmer's wife. So these are great for the farmer's wife. Um, there and then I went to another fabric shop and I forgot what the name of her shop was but it was really cool and she had this half price room and she's got great quality fabrics and me of course I'm I'm scrappy I'm a scrap girl I love scraps I'm a peacemaker I love taking little pieces and putting them together and making these wonderful blocks which I'm going to show you in Lori Holt's book here in just a minute I wanted to kind of show you my fabric haul because I'm really excited so I just picked up little pieces that she had in the box these are just some greens you know because when you're putting these um, blocks together from Lori Holt they don't call for very much fabric and it's really fun to mix and match you know so like I said you know I mean I'm in no shortage of fabric I mean I have lots but it's fun to incorporate a few new things or things that you don't have you know and I didn't want to get my vision out there but this one's just like some little words and it says cupcakery cake sweet vanilla fresh bake sprinkles just everything baking which I thought that would be a really cute piece to incorporate and then I found this this black and white bees, and this is just a little a little piece. These are all just little pieces that I picked out of a basket. I think she charged like thirty cents of an inch for you know what little bit she had. Um, here's some like little shapes, but the the color was really pretty, and I just I just loved it. And here's another one that's in a lighter pink. So they all kind of just coordinate. And this. This striped one here just reminds me of like cake stand or something. I don't know. Or a cupcake wrapper. I don't know. Because I like to do um, uh, applique. So I'm very good at drawing and stuff. So I could probably really get a vision with some of this stuff. And this other one is a bigger print. But I love the colors. Maybe this would make a great background for something. Or I don't know. I, um, I'll know it when I see it. But it's just fun. And I'm a huge polka dot fan. And this is kind of like a polka dot. But it almost reminds me of like little puff balls or something. It's just really pretty. And I love the, the background color. And then this one, I debated on this one. But it remind another reminder of like a cake stand or something. Because it has the little scallops. And I just, I could just envision a cupcake um, stand or a cake stand with like layered fabrics. And make like a pretty cake. And, and use this like for the... The cake stand I don't know you have to I don't know <laughs> I'm running my mouth and just babbling but it is just I don't know I have these ideas in my head so and anyway so oh here's another one and I thought this one would be great for the for the farmer's uh wife is this they have these little dresses and there's this is like must be a leftover from a panel and um I don't know if I can stretch it out where you can see it but um, it's got like three dresses on it and they're pretty big blocks. And I thought this would be great on the farmer's wife um, quilt, you know, because she is a housewife and she sews, you know, and I just, and I have this really pretty um, clothespin fabric in my um, fabric shelves and it's got pink in it and I thought oh my god I could border these dresses with a little clothespin fabric and make some really pretty blocks for the for the farmer's wife or even the farmer's daughter I don't know <laughs> but um I just saw it and fell in love with it and they always say to um sew with what you love so um anyway I found these these were half price I love polka dots and these were different colors and I got a coordinating color to match I found this um this pink and white plaid like or gingham I guess I should say these really go together good too so these would make something great and in, in a in a farmer's wife or a farmer's daughter quilt I don't know I'm just I'm in love with the colors and the things that I saw so I'm like I'm going to incorporate them in my quilts 
So they're just really fun. Oh, and yesterday at the So What shop, this is not going to go into any of my quotes that I told you about, but this fabric, this, the lady there showed it to me, and I'm like, oh my god, I love it. So this was some whimsical color of farm animals, and it's just really pretty. Um, I don't know what I'll do with this yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to incorporate this in some kind of a farm quilt. I don't know. I'm, I'm overboard with this farmy thing, but it's just me. Um, like I said, pick what you love to make a quilt. I mean, what inspires you? I mean, something that draws your eye. I'm just trying to give you ideas, but um, as me, I am the farmer's daughter. I love anything that's farmy. I love anything with cooking. I love anything with coffee on it. And I did really get this cute um, coffee panel too, which my friend Brenda got one. We're, we're huge coffee fans. Anything with coffee, I'm like, oh, you know. <laughs> so um, I thought this would be cute on something else too. This was like a little panel, and when they had something made with it, they cut the little blocks up with the different coffee sayings, and you could like border them and incorporate them in like a coaster or a pot holder or a quilt, you know? I mean, make yourself a coffee quilt if you're a coffee-aholic like I am, you know? I mean, just ideas. I'm just throwing ideas out there. I mean, just, I do what I love, and I just, I don't know, I see it and I love it and even if I don't know what I'm going to do with it I will figure it out you know it'll or it, sometimes it comes to you later you I don't know so anyway the Lori Holt Farming Girl Vintage if you don't have one of these books I suggest get on the internet and get you one because it, they're they're awesome they're really awesome so I am going to show you um the barn that I want to do and it's toward the back of the book. And it is on page 82. These books are really nice because they're spiral, spiral bound. Jeez. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking like my mother. She talks so fast I can't understand her sometimes. But when I get excited, I talk fast too. And then I can't talk. So anyway, um, I'm going to put you down here. And I'm going to try to let you see this book. And if you can get my vision, this is the tractor. And I want to do the the red flowery print here she has in the farm all fabric. And I might put a strip of black in here and I might do something different here. I'm just not sure yet. These are just small pieces. The wheels I will definitely do in black and maybe something that matched in the middle with a light background fabric, which I might do try to do some of my ombre fabric as the background. I'm going to try to do that. But um, let's see. And so that's the tractor. And really, um, you could see... She does these these cutting instructions. You you cut the background, the tractor body, the tractor you know stripe and wheels, the tractor front and bottom, and the tractor wheels. Oh, tractor stripe. Okay, and and wheels. Okay, so yeah. But she walks you through, and then when you get all your pieces cut up, she walks you through step by step on how to build this thing, and it's really quite amazing. It's not complicated at all. The measurements aren't complicated. They're, you, most of them, I would say 95% of them are all, you know, like the, they're half inches. There's really not any crazy measuring in these, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just very simple. So here is the barn that I want to do, but I want to do this in a realistic barn. So this barn here is going to be my barn board. I could put a quilt front in the middle here and you could do anything for your little window. You could make it a hayloft. You could make it a, you know, whatever you want. And, but my silo here is going to be stone. She has her, um, her blocks in here. They look very whimsical, you know, and I do love the whimsical look, but with the selfie picture that I want to put onto my quilt with the animals, I want to try to make make it look a little more realistic. So I'm really hoping that it's gonna turn out good. But I will take you along on the journey with me when I start this quilt because I think it will be really fun and interesting. And even the ladies at the quilt shop were like, you gotta bring this in when you get it done. So anyway, you can see in the back here, she gives you different variations with the blocks that you can do all chickens, which I thought that would be great for my sister because she's a chicken owner like me and she loves her chickens probably more than I love mine. I mean, she makes them breakfast every morning for for God's sake, you know? And then the baby chicks are really cute. This would make an excellent baby blanket if you had a, you know, a new coming baby in your family. And she just walks you through, you know, the size and everything. One thing I do notice about this book, um, she uses a quarter out or quarter ounce, 
a quarter inch uh, seam allowance. And I, I've not really ever paid much attention to my seam allowances, but a quarter inch seam allowance is very important with these books because if you want everything to come out accurate like she has in the books, I would recommend to find your quarter inch seam on your sewing machine and either put a little piece of tape on there or something to kind of use it as a guide because it is very important for accuracy. So um, anyway, as you can see, she gives you um, lots of ideas in these books and I'm just gonna flip through, you know, pages here and there so you can kind of see you can make pot holders out of the six inch blocks you can make runners you can make wall hangings I mean the ideas are endless so anyway now we've got the vintage vintage farm girl too and I haven't even made anything out of this book but if you can see on here without the light glaring there is so many different things that you can make in uh, flowers acorns another tractor there's the little crow um a scarecrow, the horse, um, a mixing bowl with a spatula, which I love, the pumpkin with a star, the apron that is definitely going on the farmer's farmer's wife um, uh, quilt that I want to do, the pie and the pot 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 holders. <laughs> there is a corn cob with two tomatoes, which I thought about doing two corn cobs for my farm blanket because that's just the look that I really want to do. The goat, I love the goat because it reminds me of Gilbert and I would probably do mine in, in a brown and I would probably um, leave off the horn. But there's cows, peas and carrots, there's silverware, there's apples, there's a truck, which I love the truck. There's even one in here with a um, a girl driving the truck. Let's see. Oh, I've, I've uh, saved the pages on the corn and tomatoes block because I definitely want to put that into my quilt that I'm going to do first. And then I think um, the crow is the next page. Yeah, here's the little crow. Um, if you can see this. Um, I thought he would be, the two of those, one in each corner at the top and then the corn in the corner of the bottom of the quilt, you know, just to make it, make it really farmy and whimsical. But there is just, they're just so much fun. So in the third book I got is The Spelling Bee. This one is awesome because it has all these letters and she shows you how to make the capitals and the small letters and you can make them into quilts and things. Um, there's even a camper, she's a dog. There's just all kinds of, you know, fun stuff in this. I can't really get it all in here, a phone, but um, I will try to take you in the back and show you um, what you can see here is you can do these letters and make you know, little sayings. I love the cake on this one with the cake stand. I mean, there's just so many ideas and really they're just so much fun to make. So if you can just kind of get a general idea, but I'm going to be doing a lot of these, these, um, these blocks and I would really like you to join in with me and um, maybe you might want to make one with me. I don't know. I just think this would be so much fun. Um, I would really love to hear your thoughts. So if you want to comment and let me know, I mean, what you're interested, your ideas, uh, quilting, like I said, I am, I'm going to be a quilter. So I would love to do your quilts for you. Um, the email, you can email me. Um, we set up an email site and the email is country farmhouse quilts. Country farmhouse quilts for a country farmhouse quilting. Uh, we haven't got the business cards yet, but um, Jim made up the email. I think, I'm pretty sure it's country farmhouse quilting at gmail.com. Um, if you want to send me an email, um, your thoughts, your ideas, um, I'm going to do some demonstrations when we, when this machine comes. It's going to be so exciting because they're going to bring it and they're going to set it up here for us. So um, Jim's a little concerned because my room is upstairs. Um, we, we, I am in a farmhouse. This is an old farmhouse. Um, this is my sewing room. It's a huge room. Um, I would love to give you another retour of this room because a lot has changed in here. I told you from the last time, but the space behind me is this is where the machine is going to be and it's going to be amazing. So I, I hope you come along with this journey. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be, this is going to be great. Um, <laughs> the best is coming. It's coming. You know, I mean, I really don't know where I'm, you know, I'm getting started with these videos. I'm just sharing a passion, but I'm really getting excited now because I feel like it, it's going somewhere, you know, I mean, this is something I've waited for. Um, 
<laughs> I think all of my life. I wish I would have known, you know, I wish I'd been doing this when I was a lot younger, but it is really excitement. It's really exciting. And I hope that you can share my excitement with me. Um, share your excitement with me. Sorry, I just cannot talk. <laughs> um, maybe it's a little funny when you feel like you're talking to yourself, even though I know I'm talking to all of you. But anyway, <clears throat> join me. Join me along for this journey. Please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all back soon. Um, I'm going to keep you posted. But um, in the meantime, I'm really going to get started on this, this on the farm quilt. And we are going to have so much fun. <laughs> so I hope you join me. Um, I think that's all for now. Okay. But um, give me your thoughts. Um, um, country farmhouse quilting at gmail.com. Okay. I hope to hear from you. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.